हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार रिसेंटली मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स दैट इज एम सी एज डन सम चेंजेस इन द डेफिनेशन क्राइटेरिया ऑफ ट्रीटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर कंपनी एज अ स्मॉल कंपनी एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर चेंज विच इज रिसेंटली मेड इज अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ द प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड एज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस विच इज रन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सिंस लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स सो एज अ व्यूअर यू मे हैव द क्यूरसिटी that okay mr bhatia let me know who is treated to be a small company what is the recent change in this a small company criteria and what are the benefits which a small company enjoys as compared to the other company so my dear friends through this video i am trying to put up all these points for the benefit of public at large so let me begin with the definition first that okay what is a small company see if i refer to the definition as per section 2 clause 85 of the companies act 2013 the small company definition given there under is small company means a company other than a public company that is a small company means a company which is a private limited company now this private limited company should have paid up share capital which does not exceed 50 lakh rupees or such higher amount as may be prescribed and such company should have turnover of the last profit and loss account which does not exceed 2 crore rupees or such higher amount as may be prescribed which shall not be more than 20 crore rupees this is not the present definition i mean to say that this definition is changed in terms of various relaxation given in the past and the recent relaxation i just wanted to highlight that okay there is a definition of small company now i will update you what is the recent change which makes this a small company definition to cover more companies within its ambit now before i move up to discuss with you what is the recent enhancement in this definition i would also like to summarize that what is not covered in this definition of small company as i have said earlier that only private limited companies are covered here so a public limited company is not covered secondly a company which is a holding company that is a company which is a kind of parent company of another company would not be eligible for being treated as small company secondly a subsidiary company that is where there is a holding and the holding as a subsidiary then such subsidiary even if private limited will not be treated to be a small company a company which is registered under section 8 of companies act 2013 that is a company which is not for profit company is also not to be treated as small company and a company or a body corporate which is governed under any special act under any special enactment of the government of india would also not be treated to be a small company so barring these companies all other companies may see if they are falling into small company criteria then they may avail the benefits which are applicable to them as a small company now naturally because of the previous discussion your curiosity should be at high level to understand that okay mr bhatia let me know what is the recent change the recent change is and before this recent change i discussed the initial one of the small company definition which i discussed the paid up share capital limit of 50 lakh turnover limit say 2 crore and this particular uh, rather it was 1 crore in the previous original version then effective 1st of april 2021 the government has given the enhancement of the paid up share capital from 50 lakh to 2 crore and turnover limit from 1 crore to 2 crore so the recent change is that this 2 crore paid up share capital is enhanced to 4 crore and the 20 crore turnover limit is enhanced to 40 crore and i would also like to add that both of these conditions are to be fulfilled simultaneously if one of this condition is not fulfilled then the company can't be treated to be a small company so let me discuss this thing as compared to the preceding criteria as compared to the preceding criteria of small company being a company with a paid up capital up to rupees 2 crore and turnover as much as 20 crore the mca notification dated 15th of september 2022 revised the respective paid up capital up to rupees 4 crores and turnover as much as 40 crore and i would repeat that both of these conditions to be fulfilled together meaning thereby that you are a small company if your paid up capital is up to rupees 4 crore and if your turnover is up to rupees 40 crore effective 15th of september 2022 so this is something which is a big relaxation and which would 
cover more companies now in the definition of the term small company now naturally you would be interested to know okay mr vadia tell us what are the benefits to a small company as compared to a non small company or you may say a large company one if you are a small company then you will be required to hold only two board meetings for a year that is a normal company is required to ensure four board meetings in a year but if you are a small company then holding only two board meetings in a year would be sufficient no need to prepare cash flow statement as part of financial statement see balance sheet profit and loss account cash flow statements are mandatory part of the company's financial account but if you are a small company then no need to prepare cash flow statement advantage of preparing and filing an abrise annual return abrise annual return you may say a summarized annual return rather than preparing a detailed annual return so if you are a small company abrise annual return will suffice mandatory rotation of auditor not required in the case of a small company rather the rule is that every 5 year completion you have to change the auditor but if you are a small company you need not to change the auditor same auditor may continue even after 5 years so these are the benefits which are available to the small companies apart from it there are other benefits also which i'll discuss further now few more benefits sir an auditor of a small company is not required to report on the adequacy of the internal financial control and its operating effectiveness in the auditor's report so i mean to say that if you are a small company under and you are fulfilling the criteria which i just discussed with you then your auditor need not to report on the internal financial control strength and the operating effectiveness in your case then annual return of the company can be signed only by a company secretary or where there is no company secretary by a director of the company so only one single director or if there is a company secretary anybody of them may sign the annual report and not only that very importantly to be noted my dear friends there are lesser penalties applicable for small companies again i will connect it to the ease of doing business concept that if you are a small company then there are various penalties for non compliances delays under the company's law whatever penalty they attract in the case of smaller companies or the companies which fulfill this small company criteria the penalties are usually half so these are the important benefits which are available to a small company as compared to a non small company under the companies act 2013 bd at the end my dear friends i hope that you may be able to connect that how the msme sector is going to get benefited through this small company definition criteria being enhanced further more companies would now be covered under this ambit meaning thereby lesser compliance for them so i hope you will find the content of this video useful to you thank you very much for being with me if you have any query you can write to me wishing you all the best jai hind